Oh my god, I just got a package in from Nasty Gal. I want to show you guys. I'm going in my closet. I cleaned my whole closet the other day, and you never know. So, I'm going to shove everything out of the way to where you can see it, which is what I normally do. But, as you know, Nasty Gal is one of my favorite stores to shop at, especially for summer and for things that are on trend. I got a few new pieces in. I'm going to... I spent the whole morning filming TikToks and Reels nail for my nails. Oh, they're a little dirty. I filmed a TikTok. I just wanted to create a few fun, short videos about my nails and like for other things like little tips and hacks. Like I was saying, I really have to get into the TikTok scene because that's where people are now. And then I decided to get ready because I used to get ready even if I wasn't going anywhere and I feel like it always like made me pro more productive, put me in a really good mood. You know when you're having those like days with your makeup where you just feel so blah? That's me recently. I need to like switch up my makeup techniques because I just feel like my old techniques aren't working and something I realized today is that I actually prefer myself with less makeup. I think I got to the root cause of it today. I think it's that I prefer myself with less makeup now than I did before. So when I put all this makeup on, I'm like, but you know, I don't love it as much anymore. Whereas I used to feel my best with so much makeup and that's a good and a bad thing because I am feeling like more comfortable in my skin, feeling myself more, but I'm also at the same time needing to discover a whole new way to do my makeup where I feel super confident in myself. So this portion of the video is in collaboration with Nasty Gal, one of my all-time favorite brands, you guys know. I've placed like myself probably four orders, especially with loungewear, their stuff is amazing. Does that look better? <laughs> um, I have a few fun things I want to show you guys. Starting with the dress I'm wearing right now, you guys are going to die. As you know, I've been like super obsessed with linen and natural looking materials. So this is just all of that. I feel very classy. I've also been obsessed with like longer dresses, which is so not me. And this is like a little bit of a longer dress. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to stop talking and show you guys. As usual, everything will be linked in the description box um, as well as my coupon codes. So you can check that out down below. Okay. Okay, this is dress number one. It is beyond stunning. So it's this very nice natural linen-y kind of material. It sucks you in at the waist. It has this like crinkle detail, which is to die for because it really like snatches you in. And my favorite part is the length. I've been obsessed with like longer kind of dresses. I just feel more like adulty <laughs> in like longer kind of dresses this one's like more of a midi kind of dress i have a pair with tony bianco heels this is not my normal style and i don't know what encouraged me <laughs> to get this but i'm so happy i did i literally have nothing like it i feel like i don't even deserve to be wearing this and there's a few different ways you can style it but the one that came to mind first okay so it's this cute little <gasps> oh my god did you just see that Nipple stickers just fell out of my bag. I swear I I have them everywhere around my house It's actually really flowy and cute on its own. I will show you guys that next but I wanted to belt it You could wear any belt. Um, I just wanted to play brown tones I did try it with a black belt and it looks super cute. I love the contrast of white and black So I belted it look at the sleeves. I feel like I should be I don't know why I feel the need to tell you like places I would wear this but I would actually never go this I feel like if I was like in London going for like high tea or if I had like really bougie friends and I was a mom and I just dropped my kid off. My only plans for the day are going for lunch at a very fancy place. This is what I would wear. Okay, so this is like a little cute dress. So adorable it actually is very flowy i will show you guys it paired with sneakers next but i have it tied with a belt then i have it paired with a little trendy cc and some nude heels so cute i think i love the sleeves the most i love sleeves like this because they make your arms look so thin <laughs> i know this is not everyone's style but i am obsessed with this obviously i've dressed it up a lot it is in like a really nice material careful it is like a little thin so when i wear this out i'll have to put like a little slip dress on underneath which i don't mind like a tight slip dress but so adorable excuse me okay 
what i'm shocked i thought i would like it with the belt way more than just by itself but turns out i like it like this more so i did throw on my gucci horse bit bag whenever i wear like a pretty oversized dress like this i always throw on like a crossbody bag just to give some structure to the outfit to kind of tame it down a little bit i also folded the sleeves and then i threw it on with some espadrille sneakers i have always said that nasty gal has the best the comfiest bikini selection as you guys know three-piece bikinis are super in right now so they have three-piece bikinis set so this set came with the top the bottoms and the sarong one thing i have to say you can see my under boob i know that's super in right now i don't know how comfortable i am with this under boob trend just be aware of that definitely like a very small top so comfy like the reason i love their bikinis so much is that they just like don't dig into my sides they're so comfy the next top i got i'm obsessed with because a the color but also because i feel like it's a really good alternative to those scarf tops because it's an actual top you actually like tie it in it goes all the way around and i feel super secure so i wanted to show you guys it in case you wanted like a scarf top but were scared to use an actual scarf because i'm not the most comfortable doing that similarly i got this top which gives the same vibe but just ties in the back and like a little pretty bow i always feel my best in black tops so i just paired it with some blue jeans and i feel like this top is so in this summer a little break to see my little squishy hello you're laying in mommy's oh you're laying in mommy's pile of clothes okay normally i don't love slip dresses but i absolutely love how this one looks i feel so good in it i cannot wait to wear it it just sits on your body so nicely the color is like a beautiful sage bluey green i have it paired with my little white bag threw on some gold sandals with a chunky heel to match i'm feeling kind of like 70s vibes i don't know i feel so good in this dress i want it in every color up this yellow top i just tied with a pair of jeans as you guys know yellow has been my favorite color this season i didn't have like a yellow button up and i wanted like a true yellow not like a buttery yellow i wanted like yellow so this is definitely it i just have a pair with blue jeans i love yellow and blue paired together okay these are the nasty gal mules i got in my last haul and these are the ones i got this time these i've been obsessed i've been obsessed with platform sandals you guys know these are like my favorite sandals ever i get asked about them all the time and these are like stunning black ones because i'm so short i love platform sandals also they are so beyond comfortable i did not paint my toes for this so we're gonna stay far far away but they're so comfortable and so oh i just love them and i feel like they make my legs look so much longer i think they would be really cute with like a flowy little skirt okay i got these sweatpants maybe a month ago from nasty gal i ordered a bunch of loungewear and they are so beyond comfortable i do have a matching sweater but i got this top to go with them because i love a full green moment green has been like my favorite color for a while now like this dark green i just if i see it i need it so i saw this top it says a great outdoors a tranquil environment that's great but i just love the color <laughs> so i threw it on together and it's like just a cute little loungewear moment but like i said they do have like a matching sweater so i saw this top it says a great outdoors a tranquil environment that's great but i just love the color <laughs> so i threw it on together and it's like just a cute little loungewear moment but like I said, they do have like a matching sweater. Okay, so I just took my makeup off and I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I have been avoiding, praying about, literally praying about. Um, kind of spiraled me into the little bout of depression that I um, had. And I, I was, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start from the beginning so as you guys know last january i created my first watch collection watches have always been my favorite piece of jewelry i have always loved watches i love all jewelry but watches were like my pat my favorite i love them i love how they look so creating my own watch line was like a dream come true and you guys love them you guys sold them out so quickly i was so happy with how these watches came out 
like I would not have changed a single thing about them except maybe like tweak the the design a little bit but like in terms of quality I was so happy with this manufacturer like I would not have changed a thing so I ordered like we had hundreds of watches they were all perfect like so good from the same manufacturer we ordered a restock based on the feedback from you guys i changed the face a little bit and like no major design tweaks just like i i changed things a little bit and i'm telling you guys this because i like being very honest and open and i know you guys are waiting on these watches so i placed my order back in january because that's when we released our first collection and that's when they all sold out the watches were supposed to be ready at the end of april and then they got moved to May 15th. Like production of anything takes a really long time, specifically watches which are handmade. Like every single watch is handmade. Normally for jewelry, like for example, we just had these friendship bracelets made. Like we literally, we have like someone who makes our jewelry. Like I've, I've gone through many, many different manufacturers or and they literally create molds. Like I have to pay for the mold for the jewelry. For example, um, the smiley necklace that we have, the smiley, the smiley bracelet which is so adorable and sparkly like we had to i had to pay for the mold to be made because it was it's a completely custom piece so every time we release something it's like a custom piece we have the mold they draw up like literally this they draw it up they create the mold they make the sample they send me the sample i approve the sample then they make it in production which can take normally for something like this it can take like a month um or like for example Focus. these beautiful little friendship bracelets like they made the mold of them and whatever so that's how normally it works like it takes a few months but with watches it takes so much longer as you can imagine they actually finished at the end of may so it took way longer than i expected because i had already ordered hundreds of watches from this manufacturer i was like great i trust your quality they made a sample of one of the watches they sent me pictures all along the way they made a watch send me the watch i approved the sample everything was perfect everything was beautiful i was so excited and then finally um because there were so many watches they were shipped in multiple obviously boxes so i get the first box this was at the beginning of june and i first opened up the two-tone and gold watch which is this watch right here it's not gonna focus okay this watch right here so i opened the two okay leo just relax on the table <laughs> that's where you want to be so i opened the two-tone and gold watches and they're beautiful they are so perfect I opened the two-tone and black face watches, which are stunning and beautiful. And then I get to the gold and my heart sinks, like literally sinks. The watch face of the gold, like I can show you the watch face is absolutely stunning. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys. So we have the bigger size and we have the smaller size. Beautiful. Here's the gold watches. Here's the gold face. Mother of Pearl stunning okay a large gold beautiful like beautiful the watch face is beautiful i looked at the watch band more closely and it wasn't the perfect shade of gold now you might just be saying like tony you're very that's a little dramatic it's not the perfect shade of gold it was like noticeably different especially because i have made watches with them before the first batch was absolutely perfect the bands of the watch were not the same shade of gold and i could have sold them um they're still beautiful but they're not perfect and i don't want to sell anything that's not perfect so i immediately had a panic attack and i started crying and i i'm getting emotional about this not because okay there's many reasons okay this was a huge this was the biggest order i've ever made for cnc like so much money double triple check the sample i had them send me pictures all along the way i've ordered like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of watches from them before and I trust them. I trusted them. So when I got all of these watches, my heart sank 
because I knew that a lot of you guys were waiting for the gold on gold. Now, the two-tone on gold is perfect. The, like, I would not change a single thing about the two-tone in gold. The shade of gold is right, the fit, the face, the quality, it's amazing. Like, I don't know what happened. So I immediately called my manufacturer and I was like, listen, Ike, what's going on? I cannot accept these watches. I, I don't understand how these pass quality control. Obviously, I didn't get a picture of all of these watches, so I don't understand how I am sitting here with these watches that I can I refuse to sell I would rather take the loss than sell them and you guys get them and they're not perfect and it's not even like the the money part that's really breaks my heart the most it's making you guys wait I, I but it just blows my mind like I don't even know how this could have happened because I've ordered from them and every watch was perfect I don't know how this could have happened so good news is that all of the two-tone watches are absolutely perfect like so beyond stunning like i can't even explain how beautiful these watches are all of them are perfect like how stunning is that watch they're all perfect so the watches have been sent back um all of the bands are being replaced um, and fixed and hopefully I will have those soon but in the meantime the two-tone in gold and the two-tone in black in both sizes will be available which I'm super excited about and yeah that was my little update I'm so sorry you guys like you don't know how sorry I am to keep you waiting this long and for it only to be like this like I literally like had a a meltdown when I saw this and I was like just sobbing I'm not the type of person who really lets things affect me for example when the entire can of white paint fell in my car I and stained my entire trunk I was like well at least no one got hurt I'd rather this happen than someone pass away or a family member or a loved one get hurt or anything happen to Leo or anything happen to me. I have good health. I'm good. All of my family is healthy. Thank God. I'm like really that kind of person to like always look at the silver lining. And I'm normally very good at like having that mentality and not letting like things affect me and affect my mood. But this, this, I could, I, I can't. I don't even know what to say I don't know what to say so hopefully I will have um, an update for you guys sooner rather than later I will keep you updated along the way but I share so much of positive things in my life good things that have happened so I thought I would share um, this and just be open and honest and give you guys an honest update and let you guys know that shit is not very good right now and I'm not feeling very good right now and there's not much I can do about it I want to make a salad and I want to show you guys my favorite salad at the moment and food always makes me feel better so let's do that okay the key to this chicken is this seasoning right here it is the best seasoning for chicken you will ever come across it is the Joe beef barbecue chicken seasoning you probably saw that in the beginning of this video amazing I'm air frying it so i have my little air fry basket i have my frozen chicken i don't even defrost it i cook it right from frozen probably better to cook it not from frozen but air frying like you can cook frozen chicken in 12 minutes so i just spray some avocado oil cooking spray and then i take some of this and this i'm very generous with like i layer this on I put a good layer like I want a chunky layer I love these spices so much that I literally put some in my salad the other day that is literally all I do so good the best chicken I've had in like such a long time so if you want to make this sea salt spices and herbs well that's not much help <laughs> um, tomato garlic onion bell pepper dehydrated um, smoked dehydrated jalapenos, papi paprika extract, 
what is wrong with me paprika extract lemon oil natural smoke flavor and spice extracts i guess they're not giving their secrets away i'm gonna pop this in i'm gonna get the rest of my salad ready and i'll come back and show you guys that's like nothing special the secret is the dressing from a bottle i'm not even gonna make it but yeah this chicken if you are in montreal and you can get your hand on the spice do it I haven't treated myself to a nice glass of wine in quite some time. I used to let food go to waste all the time in my fridge. But I've been doing, is this glass clean? But I have to say, I've been doing a really good job at actually eating my food. The trick for me is like, let's say I buy strawberries. I need to cut the strawberries and prep them right away so that like, I'm a very lazy person probably one of the laziest you'll ever come across honestly and if i have to do like if i'm hungry and i need a quick snack if there's cut up strawberries i will eat them over like chips but it's all about a convenience thing so i've been doing really well but i literally don't have any food that i can make a meal out of so i ordered myself a, a chicken caesar salad as a treat from one of my favorite caesar salads one of my favorite places that make caesar salads <laughs> brain is tired what the heck there's a oh how smart so there's a lid and then a cork i'm assuming so that you can just close the bottle after and not have to reattach the cork my food is here i'm gonna wait until darren gets home to eat i think he's at work today um I think I'm gonna wait for him to get home because he's on his way. He got ribs and french fries. I'm gonna see what I try. So good. Good thing he doesn't watch my videos. I've been watching the new season of Too Hot to Handle. I actually never even watched the first season, but um, I had nothing to watch yesterday, so I was like, I'll start it. That show pisses me off so much. So much, okay? If you put me on an island and you said, if you don't kiss, if you don't do anything, you win $100,000. Not even a question. Don't look at me. Don't think about me. I'm not here. I don't exist. We will not be kissing. We will not be cuddling. We will not be touching. But these people are out here acting like it's so hard not to kiss. Like, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> it's actually quite an entertaining show. It's also infuriating. There's this one couple who, first day, I don't want to spoil it for you, but kiss, kiss, kiss. Honestly, I think I would excel on that show. I think if I got there and they're like, you can't kiss, you can't do anything sexual, I'd be like, this is my kind of show. Let's see if this is good. It smells good. I actually haven't been drinking a lot this summer. Last summer, I'd have it like a glass of wine every day. Mmm, I love a good glass of wine. And I got my huge Caesar salad. I'm gonna ask where, I have to ask where he is because I'm starving. Is there even dressing on this? I'm starving. So I'm gonna go eat some of this coleslaw, have some wine, wait for Darren to get home, and then I have to start editing the Zara video. I wanted to get it up today, but I just don't think that's happening. <laughs> 